We have news here courtesy of Hype Never Dies regarding Denim Tears' new Kiss My Grits Drop Free collection, which is going to be dropping later on uh, this week. Um, it features some of their stuff that I've already told you about, I think, on the podcast before regarding some of their watermelons themed things. But there's also the addition of a pair of shorts, jean shorts with the cotton reef design on them. So if you're wondering if the cotton reef design is going to die anytime soon, the introduction of these jean shorts here, cotton reefs, should be the clear indication for you that the cotton reef design isn't going anywhere anytime fucking soon. Um, I actually see a picture here on Tremaine Emery's actually Instagram account. If you click on this picture here, you can actually see what they look like on person. And they actually look quite decent on this model, but it's obviously a model and he's obviously very skinny. So he obviously makes it look way better than what they actually look like. And he's also teamed it up with the socks. and He's got this really nice top on, but I don't know. This is maybe an indication that the cotton reefing might be played out and over. It's gone from jeans, sweats, and now we've got jean shorts. What next? Is he going to make fucking bikinis with a cotton reef? It's never ending. So there's going to come a point in time, similar to what happened to um, needles with the track with the track pants. You remember, there was a time when everybody was wearing these fucking needles. I've actually, I think I actually have a pair actually in my cupboard somewhere. I have a purple one. But there's a point in time where everybody was wearing these needles track pants with every fucking look they had. They were the most ubiquitous thing you'd ever see. Everyone had a pair of these needles track pants, right? Everyone had a pair of these. Really expensive, by the way. And if I remember correctly, the needles brand, um, they were getting upset because everybody just wearing the track pants. No one wanted a track jacket. So at one point, they tried to sell, they tried to only sell the pants with the suit with a jacket so you had to buy it as a suit but obviously people protested and people didn't want to fuck with it so they had to go back to selling them separately but they must have a they must have a gigantic surplus of just jackets that no one buys because everyone wants a pants so that being said i feel like those pants were the precursor to the denim tears um cotton reef design and I feel like there's going to come a point where people are going to get really tired of this design, which is already probably happening already. Um, let's look the... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at the person in this comment. Someone says, yeah, I wish they came distressed like in the picture. Or oh, if we said dress, okay. Any idea how the sizing is? Shorts hard, but the top is so crazy. The sign reminds me of the film City of Gods. Um, but yeah, that's the new drop that's meant to be arriving very, very soon, courtesy of Denim Tears. There's actually more detail of it actually available here, courtesy of the Instagram account that features more of the stuff that's available. So you've got some t-shirts, you've got a hoodie with, I think, is that a tomato design or something? You've got KMG, which is, I guess, Kiss My Grits on the um, hoodies in this college font. You've got a almost baseball-y type version of the sweatpants with the pinstripes. You've got the sweatpants. You've got the Okra's um, baseball jersey also there. You've got the gingham hat that also says Kiss My Grits shirt and a bag and a tote. You've also got the denim, the cotton reef denim shorts. You've got them in light. You've got a black denim, white, and also selvage. And then you've also got one of my favorite shirts, actually. I really like this shirt. This shirt here that features all the vegetables that black people like to eat. Or okra, watermelon. Is that banana? There's a banana. Is that banana? A sweet corn. I thought you said it's a banana. That'd be hilarious. And it's also got okra snapbacks hat. No, okra new era hats available also. Um, but the funny thing is, checking their Instagram... The comment section on Dead in Tears is fucking brutal because it's a constant reminder that the only thing people want from Dead in Tears, weirdly enough, is the fucking, um, is the jerseys, is this, the Cotton Reef shit. But the Cotton Reef stuff is getting played out. Look at this Dead in Tears baseball team thing. I guess it's real. Dead in Tears sports. I guess there's some, I guess there's a really long history, I'm assuming, especially with the Negro League and with black people, American, African American people in America, with it cut with it baseball and sports in general. But this baseball outfit with the cotton reef thing is fucking awful. It's so bad. Like I would not seen being seen dead in something like this. Looks fucking terrible. Right? They've all got the they've all basically got cotton you know, baseball jerseys um that features the cotton reef um design all over it. And I personally think they're absolutely, it looks absolutely unbearable, almost nauseating how bad this shit is. Um, and again, a signifier that things are about to end very soon when it comes to this sort of stuff. And if you go back to Instagram, you go through the comment section, you'll see here um, that people are basically only asking for the reef stuff. 
And this person saying, holy brick, we need a restock on the sweats again and lower the prices like 158 top 148. Thanks. People are probably never going to get the kiss my guess reference is hard. Another one says, need the shorts. Now you got to chill for real. I don't know if you'd be trolling or what. This is a little crazy. Another one says, shorts and a jersey on the way. We need mesh shorts. The shorts aren't Levi's. Another person says, open mouth. So a lot of the comments on here aren't the kindest. They're not the most flattering when it comes to what they've been doing and shit. Um, which I wonder what he has to say about this sort of stuff when he sees it. Um, if you click another picture there as well about the shorts. Someone says they fell off hard. I was just going to cut my jeans. And that one says, cut out, cook out jaws. How's the sizing? I wish I could afford your stuff. So not the best replies on stuff when it comes to the stuff he puts out. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of wild. Them shorts about to do Wilt Chamberlain numbers. I was happy to meet you and explain the drawings in person. That is something serious. Took the Al took the Almond Brothers. Eat it. Okay, whatever. For Cross Summer plays it bloody blah, blah 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 so i'm curious to see what he does do going forward because it feels like the cotton reef design is kind of played out so i'm curious to see will he evolve it or will he just keep you know re remixing it and re put you know doing some twist here and there and re putting it out or is there a need to kind of evolve or do you just keep running the thing that you do in the ground in the hope it kind of takes off this shoot was really funny by the way this features um the kiss my grits collection modeled by some asian folks for the pop-up shop they have in Seoul, which is hilarious when you think about, you know, the fact that the name Tears is meant to be a quote-unquote black experience brand, and then they go and put the same clothes on Asian people. is absolutely hilarious, but hey, I guess Asian people also like okra, I'm assuming, right? Asians probably like okra just as much as black, so maybe it makes a lot of sense. Maybe it makes a lot of sense. There's actually another one here with the Asian dude. He actually looks really cool, the model himself that's wearing all the stuff, but it's just hilarious to have the model, you know, the black, I think someone said it actually in the comments, they, they, they found the blackest looking model and obviously put him in a watermelon um, hoodie. Absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Someone says in the comments, um, ain't no niggas in Seoul. I like it, but Seoul makes zero sense. Could have did South Africa, Liberia, even London would have made more sense. But we know why he went to Seoul, right? He probably went to Seoul because the money was good most likely which is funny so you have this you know black experience brand you know fist in the air black panther type of stuff but then you also go where the money tells you to go maybe there's a deeper darker story behind this but i find that quite hilarious right to be that politically and socially motivated but then go wherever the money tells you is absolutely hilarious especially when it doesn't fucking link up with what you're doing but you know what better than nothing better than nothing and again maybe it will evolve and develop let's see what he does let's see what he does